Hi there folks, Gareth here. Another week, another selfie stick. Okay, we've uh, been sent this by Easy Yak or Easy ACC. Uh, although it's not branded as Easy ACC, it, uh, it doesn't seem to be branded at all. It just says Locust Series, whatever that means and one monopod. So this is a foldable all-in-one monopod. They're not saying it's a selfie, well, it says selfie stick there, but it's a, a monopod, um, which doesn't seem to be quite an appropriate uh, description of it. Okay, so uh, inside it is a 60 milliamp hour battery. It has standby time of three days, working time of 20 hours. Uh, charge voltage, five volts, blah, 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 wait. It's made of stainless steel and extends, this is the crucial one here, 80, no it's not actually, 80 centimeters, that's the, that's the crucial one there, I knew I saw it somewhere. So let's get in there and have a look. Okay, so inside we have an instruction manual. Which is a, a product maintenance record for your warranty. Can't say I've seen that before. No. Cancel it. Right. Okay. So up here we have a micro USB cable, fairly small, nicky. We have uh, a lanyard, which doesn't quite fit around. Well, you'd have to be very small for that to fit around your wrist. There's also a, a loop here for you to connect something else, maybe. And then this is the selfie stick itself. Now we had a look at the Elixir one, so obviously I'm going to be comparing it to that already. A wee bit concerned because it sounds like there's something loose inside. But it could just be the actual metal. Right, at the bottom here we have the charge port. And then that must be where the lanyard ties off. Uh, there's a like a rubber handle here. And up here we have the plastic top with a Quite a high quality button, I have to say. It's, it's quite a nice button with a, a picture of a camera on it. Uh, around the back, some screws. Then the mechanism itself has a rubber top up here, stretchy, stretchy, and a bit of rubber padding here, as opposed to foam padding, which we've seen in the past. And there's rubber around these legs to prevent from any particular damage. We shall place in our uh, LG G4. There we go looks the picture excuse the pun and, and that, that's how it sits hello uh, we will extend it and it is uh, quite a long quite a long uh, reach on the selfie stick 80 centimeters, I suppose, just under a meter, but then I suppose whenever you put on this as well, it's probably about a full meter, including your arm, too. So it would extend to almost more than a meter. Um, the screw here is fully tightened, but there's still quite a bit of movement in that. But then I guess that's probably kind of useful. You don't want that to be stuck rigid. You want to be able to pull it in and just move it. It's not that it's going to flop back on its own. So it is, it's stiff enough. Uh, with without having a, a lock on it, I suppose. Okay, so uh, let's see if we can pair it off once there's any charge in it. Okay, so we get a little blue light whenever we turn it on. Go to our Bluetooth settings, and it comes up with Easy Foe. And there we are. We are connected. If I hit this. We get the volume. Good. That's a good sign. Alright. So we will extend and take a picture of me in the camera. Oh, we're the wrong way around. Fairly quick. Oh, we got a third one there. Hi. Okay, so it works uh, with with minimal bother. I'm guessing that it's it's just down to build quality. I mean, when it comes to selfie sticks, there's uh, no shortage of choice. 
You can buy this uh, off Amazon for £12.59 or something like that. And uh, for the 80 centimeter reach, it's fine. Battery life may be one consideration. Uh, three days of standby times, I suppose not great. That means you do have to charge it on a holiday. Um, and the Bluetooth connectivity isn't worth having to charge it every three days in order to use it. I don't think so. I think uh, the, the little wire that comes out that fits into the headphone socket is just much easier to have. You can throw it in your bag and just forget about it. Whereas with a, with Bluetooth built into it, you have to keep it in mind and then charge it whenever you do actually want to use it. Admittedly, with a 60 milliamp hour battery, it probably only takes about half an hour to charge it. So as long as you have that in mind, or you might be able to charge it off a portable charger, but it's still an out of consideration that you have to take into account. For that matter, I would always recommend having a selfie stick that has the little wire on it. That way you're not going to be disappointed in the end. Even just being able to hook it up to your phone and charge it from your phone for a few minutes if you are arriving at a destination where you know that you could uh, possibly require it. But yes, this is a... It's a bigger brother for a smaller selfie stick that gets thrown in a handbag. I'm a bit concerned by what's rattling around inside. There's no way of getting in to see what it is. And it is actually, it's in the handle here. And that leads me to believe that the build quality might not be as great as the Elixir that we've already seen. I just hit the button there and my phone lit up. So yeah, um, half the price of the Elixir. I guess uh, half the considerations to be taken into account. Not a bad selfie stick, there will be li links below and in the description over on the site. Alright, so thanks very much and I take care.